Well, I've been a regular idiot of myself. First, I think a muted headset mic is busted, and then I blame an emulator issue on Crystal Quest. You're supposed to lock the mouse into the center of the screen when you play, which a normal computer would do automatically, but I'm running these on an emulator. And since Mac emulators don't support auto-detection of such a thing, like, say, DOSBox, you have to do it yourself. So I apologize to Patrick Buckland. Again. So with that in mind, let's move on to Crystal Crazy. Whoa! Oh, yummy. Oh, yeah. Crystal Crazy was released in 1993 by the same team of Patrick Buckland and Castian Green that brought us Crystal Quest. Crystal Crazy, strangely enough, doesn't have any ports to any other systems, though. Crystal Crazy still doesn't have any plot and says as much, saying you can make up one of your own if you really wanted to, but there's no need. So I'm gonna still go with my rapper collecting intergalactic space bling. Only the rapper is a she, and a cow, and apparently vandalizes fragile objects that belong to killer aliens, paints and erases pictures while people try to murder her, plays dangerous games of interstellar pool, and participates in extreme jigsaw solving as publicity stunts. Sometimes several of these all at the same time. Or maybe... Well, well. A power crystal. Eh, uh, nah, I don't think so. Yes, you do have different objectives besides collect all the crystals now. And yes, there can be multiple objectives in one wave. So this is going to be pretty difficult, even though enemies and their ranks do feel more balanced now. A new addition is that you now get power-ups to help you on this crazy quest that you're on. You can get one of several different guns and one of several different shields. I love how you can actually make yourself stink to repel enemies. I've met people who could probably do that in real life. Also, I like the Captivator, even though it's only useful if you can catch so many enemies that no more spawn. I mean, all the other guns you can find in other games. One that does more damage, one that explodes into shrapnel, a multi-directional gun. But what other game lets you lock up an entire line of enemies behind you? The game still has that same strange, wacky sense of humor, too. Which is why I'm putting up the help screens in order, so that you can pause and read them if you want to. It still tells you things like how unfair smart bombs are, and tells you that pausing to find pixels you've missed on the pictures is classed as blatant cheating under international law. Another new item is the bonus multiplier, which multiplies your time bonus at the end of the round. Speaking of the time bonus, this game made that weird too. I mean... Yeah, it, it, it's weird. Holy crap. I didn't think anyone could make a time bonus weird. This game also has a bonus round that features walls closing in on you via giant nuclear-powered ram screws, and has many more enemies with even more ridiculous names than before, like the Yakertak and the Zinkle Flash Oxycationizer. Blech. I hope you don't hate long words, especially not long made-up words. Oh, and the parasites are still in here. I hate those things. Almost as much as I hate the monkeys in Scarab of Ra. <clears throat> Almost went into a rage fit there. There are also some enemies with some interesting names, like the Throbble Wobbler and the Underjerker. They'll sound dirty. Not that this game doesn't already sound dirty, but I already did that joke in the opening. This game also feels a bit less luck-based than Crystal Quest. But this type of game, needing some luck is always going to be there. But the bonus crystals worth huge point amounts oh, don't yeah. appear as often and are harder to get, so it makes it work for them. Mines and crystals don't seem to have quite the close relationship they used to, and you can actually shoot portals to temporarily disable them! I love this game just for that. If that was the only improvement, I would recommend this game over the other. So when you're near a portal or dispenser trying to get crystals, you don't have to hope and pray that an enemy doesn't totally appear out of nowhere and own you. The only thing that could make this game any better is if there was a dual joystick setup, like something like, say, Smash TV. So you could move in one direction and fire in another direction. We need a PlayStation Network or Xbox Live version of this game. Seriously. Buy all the remakes of Crystal Quest, but none for Crystal Crazy. This one never got ported anywhere, it stayed on the Macintosh platform. Which leaves me puzzled. I mean, this is the... This is the gaming community where people complain about all these crappy sequels that get released. And yet nobody talks about this one. I don't get it. Oh yeah, and one last thing. To input your high score now, you brand your name onto a six-legged space bull's hide. I don't think I could make that up if I tried. Well, at least, I don't think so. There's not really any way to test that, really. This is Tanara Kuranov signing out with a friendly warning. 
don't play this game too long. So you'll go crystal crazy! With names like the Dumple, the Zarkle Phaser, the Tenta Warble, and the Shrap Warden. Boom! Haha, <laughs> wow, I just blew up the earth.